Solid Greg here for Coraline Sporting Goods, and in front of me, I got one of my favorite factory guns, and that's a Tika T3 or Tika T3X. Um, through the, I don't know, 10 years Tika T3s have been around, there's one thing that I uh, would recommend to any Tika owner. It's a little bit of preventative maintenance. It doesn't occur on all of them, but it has, uh, it has showed up in cold weather scenarios, and uh, that's light strikes. And it's due to factory grease uh, still being inside the bolt when uh, basically you start using it or you have got it in there after the fact. I'm going to show everyone how to take apart one of these bolts, which is literally the easiest thing going, and how to prevent this and also remedy it when you, uh, ah, before you head back out in the field. All right, so let's start this teardown process. First and foremost, remove your bolt from your firearm. And then put your gun aside because you won't be needing that anymore. Take your bolt, put it in your left hand. Your shroud and cocking piece should be up at 12 o'clock. This whole system will turn clockwise and stop. Once you hit that stop, the original shroud, whether it be plastic like the T3 or the aluminum style one, will come off at this stage. Now we're going to get in a little closer here to show you the next step because it's important. So right here, this small uh, fin sticking out is what holds the shroud on. Now what you need to do is pull back on the firing pin assembly, turn it, and set it on top of that fin. Okay, everyone see how that worked? So that's where it originally was when we took it apart. You're going to grab your hand, turn it over. It takes a little bit of strength, not much, so that this thing is now floating. At that stage, you can just remove your dovetail, dovetailed handle. And I'll do that in slow motion. So I've put it on there, and then your handle will just slide out the side. Set that aside, and now there's your complete firing pin assembly. Absolutely nothing will go flying or launch anywhere. You can do this in the field and be... Uh, be safe of not throwing out anything or accidentally launching a spring into the weeds. All right, so now this particular portion here, the dovetail portion that holds the bolt handle into position, this bushing but underneath it and the firing pin is where the problem occurs. There's tons of oil inside of this chamber here. That needs to be cleaned out. So so now that we have this firing pin assembly all tore down, what we need to do is get some sort of solvent. Uh, I recommend brake clean, it's nice, it's easy to work with, and it evaporates and leaves no residue. This gets a little bit messy, but that's how it goes. What you're going to do is apply a part into the bushing area, then you're going to stand the pin up and you need to manipulate this thing, the collar, up and down. and. So work, work that collar until you start hearing a metal on metal type sound. And then redo it again and again and again to ensure that all of the oil from that nice tight seal inside of there is gone. Uh, a lot of people at this stage just wipe it down and don't clean underneath this bushing, which you can't just get underneath. You have to physically push it out of there and spray it, and blow it out and spray it and blow it out. Um, if you don't do that, and this bushing doesn't sound like it's like a zipper there is still material underneath there that needs to be removed once you've done that and clean this very well you can at that point uh, grab a product like a G96 and just give it a very light wipe so there's a silicone uh, skin on it so to speak and that's all you need to do for maintenance inside this bolt bolts are better left running dry than they are to be full of oil because cold weather will kill you every time. All right, so now let's do this in reverse and put this bolt back together. This is where I get most of the uh, most of the comments and what have you. So we'll uh, we'll show you the sequence. Okay. So again, I have my firing pin here. I'm gonna put my caulking piece back on the fin by just pulling down and setting it on here. Okay. That's as easy as it is. I just did that with my hand, pushed it down. Now, time to reinsert it into the bolt body. 
and slide my handle back into the dovetail. Sometimes these handles can be a little tricky, uh, they'll, but just take your time. Don't beat on it. It's, it'll slide in. Just take your time. And then the fin, the caulking piece will be on the left hand side of the fin. Just like when we took it apart, take your shroud, put it over, and then turn it back to its indicated position there. And now this bolt is fully ready to be reinserted into the firearm and ready for field use. I recommend this for any factory Tika and do this the first day you buy it and then you never have to think about it again and do this in, as an annual event or semi-annual event depending on how hard you hunt or if you get a lot of moisture in your bolt. All right, that's the tip of the day from Greg. Talk to you later.